Devic's disease. A rare syndrome of the central nervous system that affects the optic nerves and spinal cord. Incidence is more common among African and Asian ancestry. The disease more commonly affects people around 40 years of age. Now known in broader terms as neuromyelitis optica spectrum disorder. In 1894 Eugene Devic, a French neurologist and his student Fernand Galt described a rare nervous condition that affected the spinal cord and optic nerves that resembled multiple sclerosis, which was named after him. An inflammatory demyelinating disease. The myelin sheath, a protective covering that surrounds brain and spinal cord nerves is damaged. The patient develops myelitis, inflammation of the spinal cord, and optic neuritis, inflammation of the optic nerve. It occurs when body's immune system reacts against its own cells in the central nervous system, mainly in the optic nerves and spinal cord, but sometimes against the brain also. The cause of neuromyelitis optica is usually unknown. Seen after an infection, or associated with another autoimmune condition. Neuromyelitis optica is often misdiagnosed as multiple sclerosis or perceived as a type of MS, but NMO is a distinct condition. There are two main types of neuromyelitis optica, relapsing neuromyelitis optica and monophysic neuromyelitis optica. Relapsing neuromyelitis optica, the initial attack of optic neuritis and transverse myelitis, followed by subsequent attacks over a period of several years. Sometimes the damage is permanent, causing disability. This type of neuromyelitis optica affects females more frequently than males. Monophysic neuromyelitis optica. Few attacks are experienced over a period of days or weeks. There are no subsequent attacks. This form of neuromyelitis optica affects both sexes equally. Signs and Symptoms Patients may experience a rapid onset of blindness in one or both eyes, followed within days or weeks by varying degrees of paralysis in the arms and legs. Other symptoms of transverse myelitis include painful spasms, loss of sensation, uncontrollable vomiting and hiccups, and bladder or bowel dysfunction. NMO attacks may be reversible but can be severe enough to cause permanent visual loss and problems with walking. Children may develop confusion, seizures or coma. Diagnosis. Blood test shows the antibody NMOIC. A positive blood test means that the patient risks of having multiple attacks of transverse myelitis. Magnetic resonance imaging scans of NMO patients hardly ever reveal any brain abnormalities, but will show up lesion consisting of three or more segments of the spinal cord. This type of spinal cord lesion makes it easier to rule out multiple sclerosis. Treatment. Steroids, methylprednisone injection may be administered, followed by a course of oral steroids. Plasma exchange therapy. Plasmapheresis, given if not responded to steroids. Plasma exchange removes the inflammation causing antibodies from the blood. To prevent relapses, patient's immune system is slightly suppressed. Rehabilitation, if damage is permanent and the patient has disabilities. Thank you.